The transition of bookmaking from handmade codices during the early years of the Common Era to printed documents and books of the 15th century was relived by a group of three college students. And what did these three young peasants realize? Today, in the 21st century, we are spoiled with machines and advanced technology that complete majority, if not all, of these tasks for us. At the start of the Common Era, you couldn't just run over to Walgreens and grab supplies for your book, which is exactly what the greater majority of us did. A true representation of creating a codex would require processing papyrus or parchment, being that there aren't papyrus plants nor ample amounts of animals to hunt in downtown Madison, despite my best efforts at spearing a rabbit. Replicating the experience of crafting a historically accurate codex can only go so far. The supplies that each of us have at our disposal is striking in comparison to the era of early codices. In completing this book, it heightened our appreciation for accessibility of materials. Our lives have been incredibly simplified with the advancements in technology, and being forced to take this step back in time forces one to contemplate the ways of old. Ballpoint pens, gel pens, mechanical pencils, fountain pens, highlighters. Who knew that we would one day have such a wide variety of writing tools to pick from? In the common era, quill pens were used to write many of the me medieval manuscripts. Preceding even the dip pen, the quill is not the easiest to maneuver nor create text that is aesthetically pleasing. Many of our attempts were even laughable. We quickly realized that picking up on the quill was not as straightforward as we initially thought. The pen shaft itself is delicate, making it difficult to grip firmly. The quill, the quill does not easily or smoothly run across the paper, similar to the way a standard pen would today. The curvature of the quill point makes it difficult to write uniformly across the paper, creating an eerie scratching noise. If you don't get enough ink on the quill, you find yourself constantly dipping it back in. Yet if you get too much ink on the quill, your text comes out thick and goopy. Clearly, it takes more than just picking up a quill and starting to write. In order to create finely detailed and precise manuscripts and books, the scribes must have practiced long hours in order to perfect their transcriptions. In completing the scribing process, we gain great appreciation for the technique and craft that came with bookmaking and manuscript transcription. It was an art form, and talented scribes had perfected this technique. Although the printing press was a huge advancement from quill writing, it was still quite a laborious task. To say the least, the stamping process was tedious. The three of us immediately fell into certain roles, similar to the way a print shop may have been run. While Maggie and Sydney took on the lead on retrieving each letter block, Carl took on the role of arranging them. Carl's alignment of the letters and the phrase had to be precise to ensure that when they were stamped, the text aligned uniformly and accurately. Sydney and Maggie had to grab each character individually, ensuring that it was the correct typeface. Just to stamp the single phrase on Wisconsin took over 20 minutes. This process provided us with an early look into mass book production, yet by no means did we see it as convenient. Using a computer today, it might take me two seconds to type that same phrase and maybe 30 seconds more to hit print. This process helped us to realize how much time and labor was being put into bookmaking, even after the process seemed to have been improved with the printing press. With this glimpse into early bookmaking, we identified three ways in which our appreciation for books was deepened. With bookmaking, we better understand the extreme access and conveniency of supplies that we have today. With quill writing, we can now appreciate the art form and craft of transcribing manuscripts. And finally, with the labor-intensive printing press, we understand the privilege we have with technology that makes bookmaking and printing take no longer than a few minutes. Overall, we have deepened our appreciation for books both made at this time and today. Thanks for watching On Wisconsin.